This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look into a demo of Paddle OCR. Paddle OCR aims to create multilingual awesome leading and practical OCR tools that helps users train better models and apply them to practice. Here are some examples. Okay, this is a boarding pass from which OCR has been done. This is a small uh, document where there is a table and OCR has been done and data has been extracted. Okay, so Paddle OCR has lots of features. So I'm just going to give you a demo of the ultra lightweight OCR system. Okay, uh, it makes use of uh, state of art, text detection, text recognition and end to end models. Right, it has layout analysis, it has key information extraction, table recognition, doc VQA. Okay, so I'm not looking at this PP structure, I'm looking at PP OCR and in this video, it's just going to be a demo of PP OCR. Okay, and I followed whatever is written over here in terms of installation of Paddle. And let me explain based on that. Okay, let's go to the demo. So in Collab, I have chosen the GPU as runtime. So I have installed this environment, uh, this particular library, Paddle Paddle GPU. That is the first step as per the instruction over here in Quick Start. Okay, and then I have to install Paddle OCR. So that is what I am doing over here. I've installed that. I'm not going to run in anything over here. I'm just going to, you know, show the experiments which I have done and their results. Okay. So I've installed that, right? Then I have to instantiate the OCR engine. Okay. For that, I have to do these steps. So basically I have to import Paddle OCR. From Paddle OCR, I have to import Paddle OCR and draw OCR, two methods. And here I am instantiating the OCR and my language is going to be English and this is for angle detection. Okay, in the text. And you can, uh, you know, uh, 80 languages is supported so you can do this. Okay, so once it is done, it actually downloads the necessary models and everything and instantiates a OCR engine instance. Okay, that is this OCR. Then what I am going to do is that uh, I am going to, you know, run this OCR on certain images. For that, I have uh, uh, uploaded a series of images. Okay. So for example, the first image which I want to run OCR is on this particular invoice. Okay. This is the invoice image on which I want to do OCR and I want to see how it performs. Okay. So for that, all I have to do is that I have to call OCR.OCR, pass the image path. Okay. And CLS is equal to true. So that is what I am doing over here. And this is the result. So I am printing the result line by line over here and I've also timed it. So if you go over here, it took somewhere around 195 milliseconds. Okay. And if, if you see, it says this is a PDF rendering of an electronic invoice page one of uh, one invoice big co ink two from invoice number. So basically it is done an OCR on this image. Okay. So this is a PDF rendering of electronic invoice invoice big co ink, you know, two from invoice number. Basically it is actually printing line by line over here. Okay. So that is what is done over here. What we can do now is that we can, it is giving these bounding boxes, right? So we can draw around these bounding boxes and we can also write this uh, text into an image. Okay. That is the draw result method. Okay. Where it pulls out the boxes, the text and scores, confidence scores, and then it creates a image. We can draw that image and this image we can visualize. Okay. When this image is visualized, it looks like this. Right. So this is a rendering of an electronic invoice. That is what is shown over here. Okay. So I've downloaded the result image. You can see over here, right? This invoice is invoice and this is the kind of confidence associated with this detection. Okay. Big co ink over here, right? Two from invoice number. Okay. Again, big co ink test corp, right? The number which is being uh, printed over here, 7578765. Let's go back and see if it is the same number, right? We can see the big image over here, right? Where did we see this? Yeah, 7578765. Okay, that is the number which is being printed over here. One small change which I made in this particular draw invoice method for it to work on collab, okay, uh, for this draw results method for it to work on uh, uh, collab is that I had to put this font path okay in this draw OCR method and for that I had to actually browse over here uh, and then go to that particular path and get this fonts and put that over here 
if you follow the default instruction it will not work it will throw an error okay that's one change which i have made over here okay and another change is that to visualize this image i had to actually do follow this method of using uh, what do you call from google uh, collab patches i have to import cv2 show and import cv2 okay that's some small changes which i have made otherwise it is directly from this okay so now you can see the result and i am quite happy with this result uh, you know most of the things have been captured properly over here compared to my earlier ocr playlist where i've done tesseract where i've done ec ocr you know where i've done um, pr ocr different kinds of open source libraries on this particular document i am seeing paddle ocr giving very good results okay this is just one document so let's look at another document which is a handwritten letter okay so this is a handwritten letter right i am showing it over here i am doing ocr on that it is giving me some results but again the, some of the words are not being matched properly this is quite a challenging letter actually for handwritten uh, recognition and if i were to visualize that image it gives something like this somehow it's missed the first line over here some lines over here and it has captured something else and these are the confidences again if you look at the confidence values they are low over here i'm not sure if this is because i need to instantiate a different model for handwritten text uh, because i couldn't find that in the paddle ocr documentation maybe it might be present but this is the kind of result which comes over here some words may be you know sake sake has been detected properly but otherwise not great results okay on this handwritten document i am not claiming on other handwritten documents for this document okay which i have over here now let us look at another invoice this looks like a very neat invoice right uh, you know this is just a template so a very neat invoice let's see what kind of recognition it does over here again i am calling ocr on this uh, image it and i am printing the lines over here and then i am visualizing the results here also it does a very good job this is a very clean document so it does a very good job interesting part is this handwritten signature it's not detected right so i suspect that maybe handwritten uh, things are not getting detected but in this model but yeah in this case it has not detected okay over here also it has done a very good job and uh, if i were to look at the result over here uh, you can see over here um, you know uh, the amount and other values have been captured properly and the confidence values are also quite high over here this is a very clean document okay now let's go into another document where we have a mix of handwritten and text okay so my assumption till this now was that okay probably handwritten is not getting detected because it's a different model but maybe let's try with a mixed image okay which has a handwritten as well as printed text okay if i go over here and i was quite surprised by the results over here and if i were to look at the results right i do an ocr print the lines again call the draw image method and if i were to look at the result right uh, how it comes over here okay i was quite surprised that it was doing quite a good detection of the handwritten text over here okay uh, you know this particular uh, zip code right uh, and some values over here it uh, see mi 484564845b a little bit of uh, this thing over here but yeah it has done some detection see 8389 with a high confidence score okay if i were to look at this result in detail over here uh, let's zoom in a little bit on this image and let's look into it right so if i were to look over here you know this values like uh, you know 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 you know these printed values it's done a very good detection actually but i'm also surprised that in certain text over here it's not doing that detection i am not sure why it's not happening right uh, it is not doing a detection so this is a mixed form of handwritten as well as this thing and again the confidence values kind of gives you an idea over here so mi 484567 is become b and the confidence value is 0.52 this can be improved in post processing where you can have a state and zip uh, dictionaries and you can improve this results okay in post processing if for a certain particular domain if you have those valid dictionaries for post processing and correction of ocr errors 
but otherwise i find this result to be very uh, good compared to the other open um, source libraries so this is a short demo where i've just you know ran padel ocr over a couple of uh, sample images to see how it performs over the same set of sample images i have done um, the test using other ocrs in the previous uh, videos and i have seen that padel ocr performs better compared to those ocrs and uh, you know padel ocr to understand padel ocr fully to understand how to custom train and other things it requires a lot more time um so probably you can look into this uh, ebook which, where they have explained about these different uh, things so they have an ebook also where uh, they have explained more about you know they have tutorials um for um, chinese they have uh, jupiter tutorials for english uh, for videos they have in chinese for english they have uh, you know uh, this particular uh, dive into ocr if you go for if and if you look at dive into ocr ebook for english you have these different uh, topics which you can look at and you can if you are interested you can go into this and read and understand more about padel ocr i hope this video on padel ocr is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video happy learning